Hi and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we're checking out something a little bit smaller. Yeah, quite a bit smaller, but something that you probably would have seen on the show before. <coughs> and it's this. <laughs> now, this is a little tiny project by NRC Projects. It's a K24, basically a 1 24th scale. Yeah, it really is that small. This is the box for it. And it is a tiny replica of a vintage buggy. Alloy shocks, carbon. It's got all the bells and whistles, just like what you'd expect from a one tenth. Now, one thing you might not realize is when you shrink down things, your tolerances have to get smaller. So the tolerances for a one tenth are a lot bigger than a 124th. So this is actually really challenging to achieve from a machining point of view. So in this episode, we're gonna unbox it, take a look at it. Also, I'm gonna talk about the electronics that I've purchased to go into this. And they're full blown electronics, not toy grade. This is gonna be a brushless, has an ESC, a full servo. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to building this one as I've never done one of these before. So let's unbox it and take a look at what you get for your money. So the first thing we're presented with is a little card, get a bit more information about the company. Then we have a tiny box of parts. So first box we've got, see there's tons of little metal parts. So this looks like the gearbox section, bearings, God, they're so small. I'm not sure if I've got enough tools that are tiny enough to do this one, so I'll have to maybe get some new. Then he got the tiniest little body. Look at that. That's amazing. Looking forward to painting that. <laughs> That's amazing. You don't realize how small this is, and it's gonna be a full-blown RC when it's finished. Then what else have we got here? So what have we, what is this? You got gearbox parts and looks like battery tray and some kind of bulkhead of some sort. Wow, I've got to be very careful not to lose any of those. Bit of steering in there as well. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna get these out because I'm gonna lose them otherwise until I actually build it. But look, it comes with the tiniest bearings. These are the arms. Wow. And then there's a upright and then the pins for the arms. And then there's a baby uh, drive shaft. Wow, it's so small. I can't believe it. it must be so difficult to make these. Then you've got all the lovely alloy suspension. What have we got here? Turnbuckles. Oh my God, they're so small. How would you even make that? Little tiny turnbuckles. And then we've got carbon towers. We've got the rear and front carbon towers. Wow, 124th is really small. And then we've got the metal chassis, the lower chassis in metal. And then we've got the bumper on the front. And then we've got the carbon top deck as well. God, the actual work that goes into this must be phenomenal. Then we've got the tires, then the rims. Now I fitted one of the tires to this. I've actually got a few tires for this one. But I fitted one onto this, but there's the actual rims. They are so small, <laughs> but they are like proper tires. Oh, that's amazing. And then we get the rear wing, just like what you'd get in a normal car kit. Then we've got the front arms by the look of it. Uh, and then a, a few steering parts, maybe. God. Yeah, okay. Wind masks. <laughs> then, what's this? Oh my God, it's the diff. The bull diff. Wow, it's so small. This is getting down to watch, watch territory. Some body pins. Some washers and stuff. Then we've got the front wheels. Front and rear. You see the difference, they're thinner. So all the tires, are the tires different? Yes, they are. The tires, thin ones and fat ones. Wow, okay. And then we get a load of tiny screws and a couple of little Allen keys. And then we've got the hexes. 
and the out drives. Oh gosh. And then we've got a rubber belt and a sticker. Wow. Now I've opened this up before, but I haven't really looked at it that much. But going looking at every part, this one's going to be a challenge to build, that's for sure. But it amazes me that this is a full-blown RC buggy with carbon top deck, alloy lower deck, proper suspension and everything. So uh, it's going to look amazing when it's finished, that's for sure. So there you go, a look at a very, very small RC buggy. Totally out of my comfort zone for me. <laughs> I've never built anything quite this small before, as well as the electronics that are actually gonna go in this. I can't believe there's actually gonna be enough space to get all that in. Now, I was a little bit concerned with these, how difficult it would be to find exactly what you need to go into it. So in RC, we have actually put a full list together of every option of like four ESCs and motors, batteries, which really helped, and servos. So the ones that I went for was, I went for the brushless censored Rocket Mini 28 Pro 30 amp. I wanted to put a censored one in this because it's sen uh, sensorless. It's gonna be a bit jittery being that it's so small, so I went with that one. The servo I went for was quite an expensive one, the OMG 2KG 1.5 millimeter JST connector. That was the same price, if not slightly more than a good servo for a one tenth. Uh, Reflect Racing 2S LiPo hard pack, basically the same sort of style that I run in all my race buggies with the little banana plugs. And then you've got to buy the connector separately then but they also supply it the, the people i bought it from so you can get it from them at the same time which is what i did and then the mxo racing rx c42 uh, receiver now the reason i got that is it connects straight to my noble so i can use a full-blown controller to actually drive it so in all purposes this is a brushless censored ese fully proportional 2kg servo 2s lipo 60c in about this size. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes. Really interested on that one. So that is all on order. So that will come. So I'm hoping it's not gonna to take too long for all the electronics to arrive so I can build it all in one go. I have got some other cars I've got to build while I wait for that to arrive. Obviously before this, I've got to finish the BT-01. That will be coming next on the show um, as I've got to do a full build for that. Now I'm doing a front wheel drive conversion on this one. So obviously this body's not right, but I've actually found a body, ordered it, and it's winging its way here. So when we build this one up, we will be, will be fitting the cor a correct front wheel drive body on it. And uh, I will paint up this body as well, because this one is being raffled off and you'll, the winner will get two bodies for it so they can change it as this chassis can be rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. Anyway, thanks so much. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.